Hey guys, this is North back again. Uh, as promised, this is the part two of my fragrance haul. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you 10 fragrances, another 10 fragrances that I picked up recently. All right, so here we go. We'll start off with uh, Molten Brown. Molten Brown London. So I just uh, recently picked this one up. I just did an unboxing. This is why I still have the box. So this is the bottle presentation. This one is the Eau de Parfum. They do have a Eau de Toilette con concentration. Uh, the notes are a little bit different. Um, so I decided to get the the Eau de Parfum. Uh, it seemed like it smelled a little bit better. Plus, I always like Eau de Parfum concentrations. Anyways, here the top notes are milk and elemi resin. The middle notes are musk, vanilla, and ambroxan. And the base notes are tonka bean and benzoin. So molten brown, milk, musk. All right, next up I have from the House of Amouage is Interlude Man. This one has this weird little cap on it because as you see on the back, this is a tester bottle. So this is the way the tester bottles come. Here, the top notes are oregano, pepper, and bergamot. Mid notes are incense, opopanax, amber, and labdanum. And the base notes are leather, oud, sandalwood, and patchouli. Uh, this is one I was a little bit hesitant to pick up, you know, it's one of the most popular fragrances, but you know, since it was a tester, I definitely wanted to get it. And this is always ends up on incense list. So we'll see if it ends up on my incense list. Amouage uh, Interlude Man. Following that up, we have from the house of Armani. This is from the Privé line. This is Oud Royale. Um, this, as you see also, I don't know if you can see that. It's also a tester bottle. So this is a tester, so this means I got it for a great deal. This one has oud, incense, sandalwood, saffron, amber, and rose. So uh, Oud Royale from the Armani Privé collection. Next up we have from the house of Nishane. This is saffron colonnades. So this is supposed to be an extract to cologne. So I'm not sure what that means because cologne, um, what well, a cologne concentration is the weakest concentration. Um, but this one is, they, they say it's an extract to cologne. So when you wear this one, this one is a, like a beast mold, like spring and summertime scents. It does have a lot of citruses and it has uh, the saffron in it. Here, the top notes are pink grapefruit, citron and passion fruit. The mid notes are saffron, pink pepper and magnolia, and the base notes are leather, ambergris, and musk. So this is saffron colonnades. And just so you know, make sure you look at the box because there's um, Nishane colonnades, and then there's saffron colonnades. The boxes look the exact same, uh, except one has saffron and one doesn't, but the bottles actually don't have any differentiation. There is nothing on here that says saffron. You know, so I had to double check after I had already discarded the box. All right, Nishane Saffron Colonnades. Here we have from the house of Zerzhov. This is the only Zerzhov I have. Uh, this is a Cento. And so this comes with this nice velvety uh, felt part of the bottle. It's a really awesome bottle. Uh, so this one has top notes of pineapple, the mid notes of iris, jasmine and pink pepper, and the base notes are musk, vetiver, amber, vanilla, and patchouli. So this is a, a Accento from Zerzhov. All right, next on the list we have from the house of Montal. This one is called Oud Cure d'Arabi. So this translates to Arabic Oud uh, leather or Arabic leather Oud. All right, so this one, as you see again, this is a tester bottle. So I just wanted to show you guys this. So in case you ever come across buying testers, you know what they look like. This one, the usually on Montel, this one, this part right here, this part that makes all the noise, it usually is a stopper. But on the tester bottles, 
they it goes through here so it doesn't come out and it doesn't move it just gives you the the aesthetic of how the original bottle looks and this one has leather oud birch and tobacco this is a very very animalic uh oud scent so when i when i smelled that i was like i definitely have to add that to my list can't wait to wear that in the fall all right oud cure de Etterby from the house of montau Next up is from the house of uh, Parfums de Marley. This one is Hamdani. All right, um, with the tester bottles, you get the, the note breakdown on the back. All right, so this one I wanted to pick up, but I definitely didn't want to get it at the, even a discounted, like 30% off retail price, because this is a this is also is a very, very skanky, barnyardy, animalic, uh, Arabic type scent and so this one it says that the top notes are frankincense and myrrh mid notes are gayak wood cloves and honey and the base notes are leather styrax styrax is another resin papyrus tobacco benzoin and sandalwood so this is another one that is you know is a very animalic barnyardy type of scent and it's something I'm looking forward to, to wearing in the colder weather. So Hamdad, Hamdani from Parfums de Marley. All right, from the house of Mancera, the sister company of Montal, we have, let's see what's in here. You can sort of tell if you already know, if you own this from this pouch, the colors, cause they're usually one color. This one is multicolor and this one is uh, gold prestigium. All right, so gold prestigium from Mancera. Here, the top notes are oud, bergamot, and pepper. The mid notes are orange blossom rose, and the base notes are vanilla, leather, white musk, and oak musk. So this is gold prestigium. I finally opened this one up. This one smells pretty nice as well. This one seems like it could be, you know, an, an all year round type of scent, you know, but leans more towards the fall and the winter time. Gold prestigium from the house of Mancera. Next up is another one from the Armani Privé uh, line. This one is Mer Imperial. Now this one for me is a grail when it comes to just resin note fragrances. This is something that I had to pick up because Mer, as opposed to frankincense, Mer has more of a sweet type of scent to it. And so when I smelled this, I had to pick it up. I haven't smelled anything quite like it. So here the notes are myrrh, amber, benzoin, vanilla, saffron, and pink pepper. So it doesn't have a whole ton of notes, but this is something that, you know, I just had to get. I had to have it in my collection. I'm glad that I have it now. I cannot wait to wear it when it gets uh, cooler in the cooler months. And that's about it. So Armani Privé, myrrh and Imperial, and we have one more. All right, last up and certainly not least from the, another one from the house of Nishane. Uh, this is Nishane Nefs. All right, so Nishane Nefs. I'm one to, because I don't have a whole ton of space and I really don't like keeping boxes. I don't believe in keeping sneaker boxes and things like that, unless I'm gonna be keeping a ton of cash in it. So I usually throw away the boxes, but these, the, this box for this particular fragrance is just, is just unlike any other. I had to scoot the fragrances back because I really wanted to show you this presentation. So this is just the <laughs> the best presentation that that I've seen. You know, uh, Abdul Samad Al Qureshi has some crazy, um, packaging as well so this one is their basically their flagship It's the most expensive fragrance in their line i got only reason i even own this is because i got a ridiculous deal on it i will not even tell you how much i paid for it but i paid a lot less than what it's going for all right so this is what it looks like as you see it has nefs at the top and then when you open it up it's has like this sort of still, um, like how it is on the side and how it is on the front. This is what the design looks like. All right, so this is Nishane Nefs. This has a ton of notes. Let's go through them. This has top notes are fig, saffron, honey, violet, and sage. The mid notes are osmanthus, rose, geranium, nutmeg, and jasmine. The base notes are vanilla, oud, whiskey, 
uh, Gorgian Balsam, Leather, Amber, Cinnamon, and Cedar. So this is one I have not done a full wearing of. It's been sitting in this box for some time now. I have it almost in the full presentation just without the plastic. So I wanted to do an unboxing for it for Instagram. So this is it. Uh, this is the last one on my uh, list for my haul. Uh, I, I may come with a part three, but it just depends. Uh, so right now I'm going to stick with the two parts. I do thank you guys for checking it out. Let me know if, if you enjoy any of these fragrances that are on here, because most of them I haven't had a chance to wear yet. And not all of them are blind buys. I don't think any of them on this list were blind buys, except for this. This was definitely a blind buy. I think Gold Prestigium was a blind buy as well. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.